Then we get back. Why don't we rub the dress in the pa in the blood panel? She's annoyed at something. What's she going to say now? Hello? Is that what you said? Okay, just then I was holding my headphones away from me and I could still hear that ridiculous line panel. Right switch. Again. Okay, that just drops it back, so pull left switch. Does that. Pull right switch. Does that. Pull left switch. Pull right switch. something out here that we need to look at. Okay. Maybe if we unscrewed something in the wardrobe? if I pull the right switch this time. So let's just go back into position. So left switch. Left switch again. Left switch. Right switch. Did it bloody hell. Right, left switch. Left switch again. Thank you. 
So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Hang on, hang on. Right. Goodbye, Joe. Let's look at that. Let's look at the wardrobe. Okay, so it's doing a right hand, right hand, left hand, and a right hand. Okay, I see. So right, right, left, right. It's like normal position. Okay, so right switch once, right switch again, like that, and then left switch. And then finally, right switch. Now, let's see what she says. Hello? Misery? I is that what you said? the right. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay, your missus is dead, Joe. No, no, no! No? This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind! Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again or I'll shoot you right here, right now! Uh, okay, right, kill me if you want, but I won't do that. Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. You're with her? I should have guessed. I can't that. trust you. You're better off dead. I'll be fine, we're immortal. I know that killing her definitely knocks you out of the good ending. You can't do it, can you, Joe?
What was Are you all right, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. Your voice changed. I... Something strange happened. Maybe I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. What? Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Yep. Well, that was just pointless and weird. What the frick was that? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Neither do I. Let's just get out of here. What the hell was all that about? Seriously? Hey, did you think of a vegetable? Oh, what? Mean? I'd ask you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So? Did you? Yep. I... Yeah. Sure. Great! Now don't tell me. Was it carrot? No. No. Aubergine. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> Wonder what that says about me. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. I thought about celery. Now let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. So she was he is her. not a nice guy. I wish you could see my face right now. I'm just like... <laughs> Maybe I'll put crop something in later. So that's half of them done. Well, over half of them done, I think, now. Press me button to close. Uh, let's go talk to the old man, because I think he's the simplest one to deal with. And then we can call this a recording session. It's a recording session. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> maybe we'll be... Maybe we'll go down. <laughs> oh, I've never done that noise on camera, I don't think. <laughs> Yeah, I'll stop doing that now. Uh, I think he'll be a hell of a lot less mind screwy to talk to. One second, listen. Knock. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. You don't look like you're dressed for a company, though. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Arms look like praying mantises. <laughs> oh my god, come on, answer the door, you dumb old man. I don't know why I'm doing my dits voice so much. Work has broken it, broken me into doing it. Cold. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Let me get my hearing aid. Remember to turn it on, please. You think he'll be back with a shotgun? This is England. Don't be silly. This isn't America. <laughs> Uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Uh, do you own a computer connected to the internet? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again. Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Congratulations. Do you live alone? 
When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be eighty-five this year, but I can still cook my dinner and I make my bed every morning all by myself. Well done. So, you do live alone then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I, I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. Good attitude to have. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Oh dear. Uh... I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. Aww. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. She'd put the tea bag in the milk in first, and, and then finally she'd add hot water. Who does that? I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. I like you, old guy. You do she not make She was always tea that so way. stubborn, my Mary. I miss her every day. I'm sorry for your loss. So sad. No, oh, he's just staring at us creepily. Do you have a computer? Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. <laughs> I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A what? young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no, with all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, oh, wait! Jesus. I know how you feel. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Let's say goodbye quickly and try to look elsewhere. Sounds like a plan. Can I help you? Not really. We were just going. What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before, I'm not interested. Okay. Right, I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Well, he was nice in a kind of frustrating way. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. That's yep, really he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. So, three to go. Brian, who we're going to scare the pants off. We've got the baby and we've got the gun guy. Okay, well, like I said, after we dealt with him, it's um, time to call an end to this recording session. So I'm Paige of Mace, Spin the Cat Lady, TTFN. <laughs>